And tonight we're taking a closer look at hurricanes and storms and whether they're getting stronger. Joining us now is Fernando Morales Wilhelm, the chair of the Department of Atmospheric and Oceanic Science at the University of Maryland, and Mark Morano, the executive director and chief correspondent of ClimateDepot.com. Start with you, uh, Fernando. Uh, climate change or climate cycles explain your, your, your choice and why? No, definitely. I mean, the, the science on this um, was pre developed in the 1990s and beginning of the 2000s. Uh, I think by 2006, it was pretty much settled. There was definitely a a climate change signal in the hurricane origination and the hurricane strength. Uh, that does two things. It makes, um, you know, stronger winds tend to break up these storms as they're moving. So uh, it, it tends to make some of the hurricanes not pop up, but those hurricanes that survive the wind get a lot stronger. So you said 1990s or so, you know, I went to the NOAA um, National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration website. Uh, Fernando, 2015, 2013, 2010, 20, 2009, zero hurricanes touching, making U.S. landfall. Zero each of those years. Yeah, yeah it's, it happens. I mean, it, climate change is not a constant process. It's not unidirectional. It takes, you know, it takes a pause, and it has taken a pause, and that's very well documented in the science, but the trend has been moving forward. You know, and uh, uh, Mark, do you agree? Uh, no, absolutely not. In fact, the science and the scientific institutions are directly in opposition to what he just said. There was no and is no consensus. You mentioned the NOAA website saying essentially as of August 2019, no detectable trend in hurricanes uh, in, this, in the data, no climate signal in the data. Not only that, but the World Meteorological Society, the National Climate Assessment, the United Nations all say the exact same thing. No detectable human impact from climate on the hurricane data and beyond that extreme weather in tornadoes floods droughts there's even studies uh, showing in hydrolo hy hydrology journals that there's no global increase in floods which you would expect in these big but rain do, events. can you agree that there's a global increase in temperature there's a global increase in temperature since the end of the little ice age in 1850 and when thermometers went online about 1870 1880 so yes but there has not been or has been about static since the medieval warm period and we probably cooled since the roman warming period so it's all about where you t do your timeline from would you agree with that no absolutely not and i don't know what science mark's referring to i mean it's, and we will definitely we'll definitely uh, we'll exchange emails and i can show you tons of papers that contradict completely what you just said um, there is, there's well documented, there's papers by individuals that have been doing this for a while. Both NOAA and NASA on their strategic plans acknowledge climate change, acknowledge climate change in, um, in extreme so, events. So, so well, Fernando, par pardon me. And, so, and, and, and this is, you know, these are all but, 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 but these are published know, documents. And, 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 you know, doing this as a conservative journalist for the better part of 20 years, two decades. Yeah. You know, I, I remember when Al Gore came out and said, New York City will be underwater because of the impending, you know, melting of, of the glacial uh, ice freezes. Um, never happened. By 2015, he predicted. I remember when global warming was an alarmist moniker that they threw out. And then when, when the globes cooled, remember in the, in the 70s when there was impending ice age that they were freaking out about, sure. it went from global warming to climate change because the weather does change. The temperature does toggle. Right. Yeah. So, um... So I think, I think first and foremost, uh, you know, I, I appreciate the effort in, in trying to bring forward this uh, to the public, but, you know, uh, you know and, and um, Al Gore is not the best spokesperson for climate science. Um, but he was at the uh, time. No, no. I no, mean, he, he sold a best-selling book, not, uh, sold not, millions of copies, not, did and, movies, and everyone pointed to Al Gore as like, see? We're going to all be dead if we don't. We're going to be extinct if we don't and tackle I'm not, this. I'm not. I'm not single picking on Al Gore. I mean, there's a v wide variety of individuals uh, putting opinions out there that are not science based, um, and uh, the peer reviewed literature on science is very, very clear on these trends. And I, you know, I, you know, I can. I, I, can, I, I, I have to ask this. I have to ask this, Mark. Um, I, I, I can't tell you how many times I've heard, and and Fernando said it early in, in the show, the science is settled. Is it? The science has never been settled on this. In fact, in the 1970s, you just referenced the global cooling. They were worried, and Time Magazine featured this, and people worried that heavy rains and floods, extreme weather, were due to global cooling. And now they're claiming it's due hurricanes and, and worse because of global warming. We went through 12 years of an absolute, almost 12 years, of an absolute hurricane drought, the longest on record going back, you know, more than 100 years. And now we have the most recent hurricane, Dorian, everyone, the media is all upset, unprecedented, this is, this, this is what climate change looks like. It was tied, a three-way tie for second place. It was only the ninth strongest in terms of, this is at its high point, of its strength. And at the same time, NOAA, the agency, which, by the way, he's received 
175 million from NOAA and 65 million from NASA, his agency, almost a quarter billion dollars to study climate. At these same agencies admit that there's no current signal. However, they say global warming will cause a big signal in the future. So this is my concern, Fernando, is what exactly what Mark pointed out, that there are literally not billions, not hundreds of billions, there are literally trillions of dollars that are being used or at least being uh, thought about being earmarked towards the study of, of, of climate, of climate change. And my concern is it's a lot of professors, it's a lot of mm -hmm. uh, right. administrators who see that pot of money going, Boy, if we create some alarm, we're going to get a big piece of that big piece of that money. So, hey, uh, unprecedented Dorian this this week. Meanwhile, two years ago, three years ago, 2015, not a single hurricane t made U.S. landfall. Well, oh, good point. So, uh, just a point of clarification: uh, the senders, right, direct, uh, are the the money that it's. We do a lot more than climate. We actually do a f a, the biggest, the lion's share of the research we do is on weather and weather prediction. And let me tell you, which some, by the way. Yeah. We need. Absolutely, yes. I'm all so, for so predicting the path of these hurricanes. Right. So let's focus, on that. That. let's focus on that for a second. If you, you know, we're, we're all old enough to remember that 20 years ago you couldn't give a dime on a weather forecast. The, the reason we're able to do so well today as we, is because of the investment of that research money. Absolutely. So, that, so, so the products of that investment are, 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 are return Many, many, many times many, over. Many fold. Mark, so, can, we agree on, can we agree on that? Well, on weather observation, the problem mm -hmm. is they put money, if you're a study butterflies and no one's paying attention to your research, if you do a modeling study on what might may happen to butterflies 50 to 100 years and you come up with a catastrophic scenario, suddenly you're a climate expert, you're part of the alleged 97%, you're going to UN conferences. There's, that's how money distorts this debate. If a professor here was a climate skeptic and outspoken, would he still be getting nearly quarter billion dollars from know, the federal government? I don't know, but I do, not, I do not question. want to take away from any sort of study into the uh, El Nino and La Nina effects well, and, and, and on storms, sure. on weather, on hurricanes, and our, honestly, our farmers rely on these weather Absolutely. reports. Absolutely. I'll leave it right there. Mark and Fernando, great debate. We'll have you guys both back.